everyone, I am Neharika and welcome back to a new lesson. Well, so are you straight out of college and looking for a job? And probably you have an interview lined up. Well, in this lesson today, we are going to help you with some tips that would ace up your job interview. Now, you have finished your education and you are heading towards a new phase of life. So, you really don't want to goof up. So, freshers, here are some tips that would help you to answer the most common questions that are asked in an interview. The first common question that's asked in an interview is, tell me about yourself. Now, remember people, the person who is asking you this question is not someone you met at a coffee shop. Well, so things like, I love being on Facebook or I had three girlfriends in my college days is not the right thing to mention. Well, the important things that you need to mention is your education background, then your family background like I live with my parents and I have two siblings but don't get into much detail or probably you can talk about your personality traits. And also, you can talk about the things that you like to do in your free time. So, these are the things that you need to include when this question is put forward. The second common question that's asked is, why should we hire you? Well, here the person is asking you this question because he wants to know if you're really serious about this job. Or probably you're just here because you're jobless or you're here because you want to make some quick money to buy a smartphone. So if you are really serious about this job, the things that you need to mention are about your skills and your abilities and also back it up with some examples. Now remember, a company would only hire you if you add value to their organization. So, the skills that would be helpful to this kind of a job that you have applied for would be perfect to mention to the interviewer. So, go ahead, talk about your abilities and talk about your skills. The third common question that you would come across is talk about your strengths. So, whether you are a fresher or probably you're just going for another interview, this question has to come. So you need to be prepared well in advance. But what you need to do is list your strengths and back it up with some examples. For example, if you have to talk about your leadership qualities, then what you can do is you can say that I was leading a big presentation in my college and the presentation did extremely well and you received a lot of kudos. So, this would talk about your leadership qualities. Another skill that you can talk about is your punctuality. Well, yes, of course, that's a strength. Now again, back it up with an example. You can mention that you used to submit all your projects and your assignments way before the deadline date. So again, this talks about your punctuality. And then there are certain skills that you can talk about like uh, how um, hardworking you are or you can grasp things real quickly and please mention examples to it, okay? So this is the way you will talk about your strengths. Now the fourth common question that a fresher would come across is, are you planning for your future studies? Well, it's important to mention if you are. You need to handle this question very tactfully because here the company wants to know if you are taking up this job for good or are you just using their training resources and then saying goodbye to them. So if you are pursuing studies, then please do mention and give a reason to it. And even if you're doing some distance education or probably you're doing a part-time course, then please do mention it in an interview. The reason because if you get this interview, if you get this job, then you might have to apply for leaves when you have your exams, right? 
So do not lie and go ahead and tell them that if you are pursuing future studies. The fifth and the last question that I have for you is, so what do you know about our company? Well, if you have a job interview lined up, don't just wake up in the morning and get all dressed up and then go for the interview. Mm, would not make any sense. Well, you need to be prepared for this interview. So, when you know what company you're going to for the interview, well, use your search tools on the internet. Or go ahead and look at the company's website. Learn and understand what the company is into, what products they make, or who are their clients, and so on. These details will be helpful to you. Then, when you go for an interview, you are well prepared and you know what the company is into. And of course, you will be able to talk much better when you are confident about what the company is into. This brings me to the end of this lesson. Make sure you practice all your answers before you go for an interview. And don't just go boast about yourself that how good you are and you have like the best skills ever. Well, just tell the facts and don't lie. And also, please follow these tips so that you ace the next job interview you are going for. Thank you for watching this video. I'll be back with a new lesson soon. Until then, you take care and all the very best.